Tim Bates, the Chief Innovation Officer for Attention.Live, and I'm here with Michael from Block a AML Project. How are you doing? Tim? How are you doing? Me, I'm fantastic, thank you. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing awesome. Great, great. So, Very happy to be here. And so what brings you here today? Uh, to uh, to New York. Oh, no, to uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, NFT conference. Well, uh, it's not my first one. But uh, I'm privileged to be here. Mm -hmm. It's a real pleasure to be here. Uh, I have a law background. Okay. And one of the one of the best things about the NFT dot NYC project is that it successfully brings together so many crypto natives. Okay. From a range of different uh, uh, industries, specialisms. They, you know, on on any given Thursday, it's very unlikely that I'm going to meet an NFT artist, NFT musician. Uh -huh. So it's wonderful. It's the 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 best learning. I have done in the crypto space mm -hmm. in the last four and a half years okay. has been at these NFT conferences. Right. Really, really good. Pretty good. So yeah. tell me a little bit about uh, Block AML. Sure, yeah. So as I said, I have a legal background. Uh, I specialize in criminal law, financial crime, digital assets. Uh, I, Until recently, I, I was uh, the uh, lead digital assets lawyer in an offshore jurisdiction. Um, I've leveraged all that experience to launch my own project, Block AML, mm -hmm. uh, at the intersection of financial crime, anti-money laundering, digital assets. Uh, we offer advocacy, advisory, uh, training uh, services to public and private. Okay. Uh, it's a very exciting time to be in the space. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm also a consultant with the British uh, Virgin Islands, their government. I'm a consultant for the Council of Europe. Uh, economic Crime and Corporation Division. So my specialism is financial crime, digital assets, anti-money laundering, uh -huh. and I'm doing my part to help to uh, improve the space as the technology moves inevitably into the mainstream. Right. Okay. okay. Great. So uh, how did you get into this? Into NFTs, for NFTs protecting people, cybercrime. So I, I yeah, so I, I my my whole career been criminal law, right? Okay. When I started out, there was no Bitcoin white paper. Ah. Uh, you, you know, over time, if you specialize in financial crime, eventually you will come across uh, bad actors using digital assets. Uh, I went down the rabbit hole four and a half years ago. I never looked back. Um, <laughs> I I pop my head out every now and again to go to conferences, but I love it. I study every day. Uh, I, um, as I said, there's fascinating learning to be done at these events. Okay, great. Uh, I try to interact with as many people as I can, such as yourself, mm -hmm. and hear wonderful, wonderful, interesting stories. We're learning every day. Okay. And uh, I don't think there's any going back for me. Yeah. I think I'm in the space now. I'm the same way. Yeah. You know uh, that feeling. Turn and kept on going. Yeah. So what would you like to do? A shout out to your uh, public out there? Uh, Ian, or how do they reach you? Uh, yeah, f uh, feel free to uh, find me on LinkedIn, on Twitter, Michael Halipass, or uh, Block AML. Find the uh, website, blockaml.com. Uh, feel free to reach out. If you have any questions, any uh, suggestions, any uh, feedback, any uh, proposals of collaboration, uh, always happy to talk crypto. Always okay. happy to. And um, yeah, happy to connect, interact. It's been All wonderful right. meeting you today, Tim. Really wonderful nice. Wonderful meeting you. Yeah, thank you. And um, yeah. Thank you. Cheers, man. Thanks for Thanks being here, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.